and welcome to another video tutorial from computerguardguard.com this tutorial looks at the offset property when using VBA in Excel now Excel provides many different ways of referring to other cells within the worksheet allowing you to move around that worksheet the offset property is arguably the most popular way indeed the offset property is used by Excel itself when you record a macro with the relative references command Let's have a look at that. So I'm on the view tab at the moment within this worksheet or in this workbook. I'm going to go to my macros button and you can see my use relative references button is currently turned on. So if I click on it again we can see it's off. I'll click on it again so we can see that it's switched on. And I'm going to record a macro. <coughs> Let's record this macro. Numbers. Why not? Because the job of this macro will be to enter numbers 1 through to 5 within the cells in a column. Maybe not particularly useful, but it will demonstrate what the offset function can do. I will leave the rest as it is. It's going to be in this workbook. I don't think there's any need for a description or a shortcut key. If I click on OK, I shall record this macro. So in my, my current cell, I won't click anywhere else. I want to use the active cell. I'll put 1. I'll move to the cell below, I'll have two, cell below, I'll have three, cell below, four, last cell, five. And I'll use my stop button uh, down here to stop that macro. Now that's it done. Let's assign this macro to the little button that I provided here. We're just ready for this to save a little bit of time. And I'll assign my numbers macro. Uh, if I give this a try, here we go. We have a macro that, wherever I am, will always enter numbers 1 through to 5 in a column from that. More importantly, let's have a look at what happened. Let's see what Excel, what, what VBA code was written. If I view macros and edit, we can see that Excel, as mentioned, has used a property with offset, which is a property of the range object. We can see it being used with active cell here, which is probably the most popular use of it. So it refers to ranges or moves to different cells uh, relative to the cell you're currently in. That's how we've used it. Now by using the macro recorder, you know, we've got a little bit of kind of redundant information here. And, you know, it's formula R1C, one's being used. And you know, there's other ways of doing this. And there is better ways of, of doing what we just did as opposed to this. Uh, but it proves the point. It shows the use of offset and it shows the macro recorder doing it. Now, other popular ways of, uh, of using this offset, as we've seen in that example, uh, the offset function just requires two arguments. It requires uh, the first argument, which is how many rows you want to move, and the second argument is how many columns you want to move. So, in an example, if this was our macro now as we come into offset we can see it asks us how many rows do you want to offset how many columns do you want to offset as a range so in this active cell I might choose two rows down see it's a positive number so it means down I could use a negative number I mean two rows up I'll say down comma how many across let's go for three across and what we'll do is we'll select that cell. Okay. So now my numbers macro will select the cell two rows down and three columns to the right of where I currently am. I'm just going to switch back to my workbook. <coughs> We can see I'm currently in D7. If I press my numbers button, you'll now find me in G9. So what do I say? D7, two down, three to the right, and you're in G9. There's the offset function being used. It can also be used, as you mentioned, to select ranges. Yeah, you can enter a range as a current cell, and also the cell, you know, four down and four to the right, for example, to select a range for copying or changing the background colour, anything like this. 
Possibly the most popular example of all though, similar to what we saw the macro recorder do, would be to use it in some kind of loop. When you're using variables, and when you're using uh, some kind of loop, this is the most popular use of offsets. You can move down a column or across a row. Next example of numbers, I may have a variable called x and x currently equals 1. This could be used uh, in a do while all loop until x is less than or equals to 20. A little end loop in there, and what we're going to ask it to do is we're going to ask it to do active cell value equals value of x. So one at the moment. Once you've done that, active cell offset. We want to move to the row below. So we'll say one and zero. One row down. Don't move column. Dot select and also x equals x plus one. Let's add one more onto x. Let's see what we're trying to do here. We'll put number one as it currently is in the cell we're in, then we'll move down the cell and we'll add x, go around, put in number two, and so on, all the way up to 20. Let's quickly switch my worksheet, and here we go. 1 through to 20. Very useful. <laughs> and that is the offset property. A few examples there of its use, how it can be written, uh, and, and variations really, what the macro recorder did and how we might enter it itself in slightly shorter hand. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out what else we have at computergargard.com. Check out some more of our videos on our YouTube channel. Bye for now.